Hi, I'm Andy Skirner and I'm here today with Creative Expressions to make a video showing you some of the new products and how we can combine them together. Uh, we will do, be doing a, a, a sample very similar to this. So we're going to be using the Cosmic Shimmer embossing powders, some of the new stencils. We've got Redemption, we've got Cogged Up, we've got Barbed Wire, so those are the three we'll be using on this demonstration. We'll also be using some of the mixed media transfers as well. Okay, so we're going to start with some MDF and we're going to do a tag to begin with. Just move these to the side. So we're going to base coat our MDF tag and then we're going to use some of the embossing powders and we're going to mix together some of the different colours. So I'm going to base coat with some warm white Cosmic Shimmer chalk paint. Light brush strokes, soft brush. So don't worry too much about coverage on this tag because we're going to be sprinkling embossing, folders in the, uh, embossing powders in there. And quickly dry that off. There we go. Then we're going to use some of the Ranger Perfect Medium. This will, it's like a, a, a glue that doesn't really dry and this will grab the embossing powders. And I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Just a few dabs. So we want some of that white showing through the embossing powders. So we're going to use one called Funky Cold Patina. And just with my fingers, in fact it's a good idea to have a piece of A4 paper underneath so you can pour the embossing powders back into your pots. So just a light sprinkle, tap off. Move that to the side. We're going to use a little bit of the raspberry ice cream. Okay, we'll tap that one off and we're going to go for a colour called granite. Now I might just put a little bit more medium just down in this area here. Tap that off gently, and now we're heat. Okay, just check that's all dried. That's looking good. So next, we're going to start adding a couple of transfers to this. But before we do that, and before we do any washes of colour, we're going to use the Cosmic Shimmer Clear Matte um, Glaze. This will give the surface a tooth to grip um, transfers, to grip stamps, to grip paint. It's dead flat and I give this one coat, sometimes I do two or three coats depending on the texture. Soft flat brush. So we're going to use a soft fat brush, no water in that brush at all, and we're just going to cover that surface. If you hold it to the light, you'll see any places that you've, you've not got the, the glaze on. 
Okay, so we'll give that a quick dry. And we're now going to start going on with some of the mixed media transfers. Okay, I'd like to have these off center if possible. Using the lolly stick, provided with them. I'm just going to rub, you don't have to rub too hard, just gently all over the transfer. Keeping your finger on the transfer. Just pull back, I can see there's a little piece at the top of the head there that I've missed. And then just push down with your fingers. Uh, sometimes I don't put them completely on the surface, I'll bring them in for the edge. So for the medical hand. And again, hold on to it, and there's a couple of misses there I can see. Perfect. So now we're going to do a little tiny bit of stenciling on here. So I'm going to pick a word from here. Let's go for poison. Just make sure you've got it aligned level. A stencil brush and we're going to use the black chalk paint in the Cosmic Shimmer range. Now, when I stencil, I just think it's very important to take most of the paint off your brush. Otherwise, it can bleed through the stencil. So, I've loaded the brush, and now I've dabbed loads of the paint off. And I can go nice and lightly. And when you do it this way, it gives you more of an aged look in a solid colour. And the same with mixed media transfers, keep your fingers on the stencil and you can see anywhere that we've not got them. Perfect. And I think we'll also use, I got to use the barbed wire. Okay, and again, just peppering that paint on. So you see you use very little paint doing it this way. Okay, there's our barbed wire. I'm now gonna stencil with some of the warm white and we use the cogged up stencil Oops. 
Same thing again, load the brush and then take most of the paint off. Now, I'm not going to cover this full. I'm just going to take out parts of the stencil rather than the whole design. Keep your finger on the stencil, put it back. And I'll put a few up here too. So it's just very subtle in the background. Okay, soft flat brush again. We're going to use the rust oxide in the, the cosmic shimmer patina effects. Uh, and the rust brown. So we're going to add some rust oxide to this mix, a lot more water, nice clean water. If your water is contaminated with let's say the white chalk paint, it's going to cloudy up the whole wash and you want this to be translucent so we can see through. And now with some pure rust oxide, we're just going to run this around the edges. Give that a quick dry. Now if you want to do a few rust runs, clean water, pick up some rust oxide with lots of water and we're just going to dribble that down and we dry this okay and I'm going to use one of the new stamps this one's called Enigma and again, I kind of use it as a background stamp. And I will use black archival. And again, make sure your archival pad is nice and juicy. I think we'll run this down from the top. I'm going to have to put this there because it's a great big. Some from the bottom, some from the top. So there's the finished tag. We've used lots of different layers to produce this mixed media background. So we've got the mixed media transfers, the stamp, the paint and the stencils. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll be back soon to do more. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.